So I want to teach you a really cool trick to do wall following using the ultrasonic sensor. So I started a new tab up here and I labeled it ultrasonic three for the ultrasonic lesson three wall follow. And now if we go back to uh, the lesson three for the color sensor, we're going to do something very, very similar to this color sensor. So we're going to have a repeat forever block and inside the repeat forever block, we're going to be having a switch. So the switch says, using the sensor with this information, if the sensor gives us that information, yes, we need to do this. That's what check mark. Yes, that's good. If the sensor doesn't give us that information, then no, we need to do that. So we're going to try that with the wall follow. So I'm going to start uh, with a repeat forever a loop block. And inside my loop, I need a switch. All right, now I'm going to change my sensor to go down to the ultrasonic sensor, compare the distance in centimeters. Now I want it to stay a little further away from the wall for right now, so I'm going to do less than 10 centimeters. This four, if I click on the four, it just means four represents less than, two would represent greater than, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna just stick with less than 10. So if my sensor sees less than 10 centimeters away an object, then I need to do a certain drive. I'm going to pull up my move steering block. Yes, it's less than four centimeters away. Now my sensor is on the right hand side of my robot and I'm looking at a wall on the right hand side. So if the wall on the right hand side is less than 10 centimeters away, I'm gonna turn this guy on. He's less than 10 centimeters away. I need to go to the left, okay? We really wanna keep this number small, maybe negative 10, maybe even smaller than that, even negative 20 is too big, okay? So I wanna to go to the left just a little bit, but I'm going forward to the left, okay? Then I'm gonna add a move steering block to the bottom, just turn the wheels on, because it's gonna loop and ask the question again. Now, if it's not less than 10, that means it's getting to be too far away. And I wanna go back towards the wall. So I can just type in 10. I want to go towards the wall, maybe at a 10. So let's go ahead and download this to the robot and see what happens. Now that we've downloaded the program, I'll show you what it looks like to follow the wall. Now he does go back and forth a little bit. Um, he's not a straight follow, obviously. And here I've added the um, sensors to the right hand side so you can see that that's how the ultrasonic sensor I put on just with two T's right here right here connected to the side of the robot 